Welcome to the next video of the series where I answer frequently asked questions about PC hardware, software and games. Today's topic is about situations when the CPU is working at a relatively high temperature up to a point where people start worrying about the safety of the CPU and their system. I have seen hundreds of similar questions over the internet asking whether a CPU temperature around 85 degrees during gaming is dangerously high and often in these cases someone is found to say that these temperatures are extremely high and sooner or later can damage the CPU. In most cases such comments are not correct. Let me explain why. Every CPU has the so-called maximum operating temperature defined by the manufacturer. It represents the maximum temperature a CPU can run at before it starts to reduce its clock speed and voltage to prevent overheating and possible damage. This measure is commonly known as throttling. In many cases the CPU may trigger these measures way before it gets close to its temperature limits. That behavior is very common for laptops and desktop computers with small cases where the cooling solution and the airflow are not always effective and sufficient. The maximum operating temperature varies between the different models. The limit for Ryzen 5 5600 shown in this example question is 90 degrees. So temperatures around 83 or 85 are considered safe and in some cases are even normal depending on the CPU load especially if you are using the stock core. This CPU can run at this temperature without any problems. There is nothing urgent that must be done here. What I don't recommend is to keep your CPU constantly running at its maximum temperature or too close to it. This can make the system unstable. Your PC may start to randomly crash, restart or shut down. There are also other reasons why you may want to improve the temperature levels. The lower temps let the CPU provide consistent and maximum performance. As I mentioned before, if the temps are higher, the clock speeds of the CPU may start to go up and down which affects the performance in games and CPU demanding tasks. This is controlled by a complicated algorithm that involves clock speeds, voltage curves, the generated heat and other factors. The CPU operating temperature depends mainly on the quality of the core, the quality of the thermal paste, the airflow in the case and the current power settings of the CPU. The stock cores are not very efficient and in many cases work very loud, which is another reason to do something if you are using one of those. 83, 85 or even 90 degrees can be easily reached with using a stock core. Even with more power efficient models like Ryzen 5600. For CPUs like this, there are many good and affordable air cores you can choose from. Always use a quality thermal paste and don't forget to replace it at some point. The bed or old thermal paste decreases the cooling efficiency. In the case, make sure to have a good fresh air intake and that the heat is going out properly. It depends on the model, but usually an optimal CPU temperature target is 70-75 degrees up to 18 very CPU intensive games and around 60 or 65 degrees in titles that do not require much CPU power. Of course you can achieve much lower values but that would be unnecessary. Sometimes the stock power settings of some CPUs are not very optimal. Such is the case with Ryzen 7 5800X3D where a simple undervoting strategy leads to significantly lower temperatures in gaming and even better performance in some cases. With the stock power settings 5800X3D can easily go up to 85 degrees. Is 85 in gaming dangerous for that CPU? No, it has the same maximum operating temperature as the 5600 model. But that affects the performance and the cooling noise. I have another video that explains the situation and how to solve the problem. You may want to check it. So that's everything for today's topic. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and leave a comment below. That will help the channel to reach more people and help me in creating more content like this. If you have a question about today's topic or anything related to CPUs and games, do not hesitate to ask by leaving a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.